Hey, it's Mr. Random Pop Culture News Freak here once again. I came Mr. Andy Wolverine. You guys are wrestling towards the announcer towards your channel. Follow me on AOL Symbols and, of course, hashtag Symbols. Links in the description box all down below if you want to follow any of that stuff. Anyways, I swear I'm not getting sick. Also, i got to keep the fan. It's starting to get 80s over here. It's getting way hot as hell out here in this freaking desert. But anyways, I know this is a fake story article. I still want to read it, though, because it sounded interesting. I shout out to my dudes like, Mr. Alex and Tyra Magnus and all those other tools. Um, they actually talked about this a lot more. They get way more deeper in their thoughts and opinions on than I do. I think they read from a different story article. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but this is something about um, I don't know if a sweet baby anchor the other company and the other dude. Oh no, it's Alex, man. He got way fucking triggered and pissed off. But you know what? On 100 percent understanding, he's a lot older than me. He's like 40, 41, but he's old enough to be my older brother, dude. So shout out to him. I'll leave the link to the description box down below to his video. Very, very funny ass dude. But anyways, um this saying how Sweet Baby Inc. was attacking that dude to cure Tori how much sucked. The thing that went collectively, I'm not gonna talk or like rephrase every single word that he said, Mr. Alex himself, I don't know it's Alex, um every single video word or sentence that he said, but he said it collectively. And the only few words I remember him saying is that in that video is like even people in their backgrounds have all different different race, ethnicities, backgrounds, origins, even different religions and atheists of other different people from around the world paid their respects to Mr. Kiritorian from breaking one of the biggest franchises of all time. For him, I think he was like a junior senior in high school when Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z came out. For me, I was way back in like elementary school. I was like nine, eight, nine, ten years old at that time. So I meant something like 17 or 18. So he's way older than me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, without further ado, let's begin. Hopefully I don't get a copyright claim or stripe playing this Dragon Ball music in the background. See? This was Dragon Ball creator interview about the franchise not having black African characters. Person originally posted this interview in a YouTube video to make fake, can't say that word, article of mouse. This comes from Is Scott Leg. What? I don't know how to say that. Like Magdalening. Linius. So I'm not going to leave the link down below. I'll read the link to this other one, though, from early game. They said there was going to be, like, a cancel version of like, what they did with the Lion King and Dumbo. They are going to do a live-action version of Bambi. I might read it at the end. Who knows? Links to the script box is not below. <clears throat> so let's, let's begin. February 24th, 2023. No, 2023. That was 2024. Dragon Ball anime manga series creator Akira Toriyama gave an interview about Lack of black characters in the series. I, get, I know a lot of this stuff from Snopes is fake, so I'm not going to leave the link in the description box below, but it sounded interesting. It sounded really super convincing, but it's fake. A lot of the shit from Snopes and the Onion is very, very not true. In my opinion, it's a fucking bunch of lies and bullshit, but this is the only article I can find. On February 23rd of 2023, Twitter posts claim that Dragon Ball anime series creator Tiro Toyama sent an interview that the media franchise that didn't have Black characters because it's a Japanese franchise. The story was fake. <laughs> Holy shit, a Twitter user posted above screenshot in the article. This one was fake. It wasn't even real. That's crazy, man. <laughs> this is from uh, Get a Credit Credit is Due. I guess it might be a real story, then. Um, holy shit, a wife who watches Kira Toriyama fires back at hating, criticizing, lack of black characters in the series. This is a Japanese franchise. <laughs> Made by Japanese people, it's not, not your show, it's ours. That's messed up, bro. <laughs> That's way screwed up, bro. And I'm glad this ended up being fake. This is way, way extra fucked up. He only died like a week and two days ago, so. It's crazy, this is like a whole year ago earlier. I thought it was from 2024. Yeah, look how screwed up that shit is. What? That is way extra fucked up that they try to desecrate this man. They're trying to piss on this man's great, this wonderful great man. Even though I didn't know my IRL, but man, that is so fucked up what they would do, man. Trying to hurt my childhood like that? That's so screwed up, bro, honestly. It's a load of bullshit to the max. <laughs> wow. It's unfucking believable what some people do for clout and power and fucking 15 minutes of fame. How they burn in hell, my pretty most wrong. Claiming that the writer by an author is named by Daniel Starlight in an interview saying, they quote, the things that people complain about continue to change over time, but Japan's racial demographics are not. They did not live. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's insane. Thank God this shit was fake. They're trying to put words in his mouth. That's sad. That's real, real sad. 
Sorry, I had to take a real quick call there, so I had to pause the video real quick, but let's truly continue forward. Yeah, this says Mr. Cure 21, but thank God he didn't say none of this. Putting words in people's mouth like that. So desecrated and goddamn fucking pathetic. The way these fucking assholes try to bleach on his dude's 15 minutes of pain just for power and pain and clout. Fuck them all. That is absolutely fucking goddamn unforgivable. That shit makes my blood boil thinking about. I wonder Alice the Tire Man's got like, pissed off about this article. There's one question about this decision, including Mr. Popo, an R word depiction of black word of black individual. So this is Mr. Kirtone says, I love Mr. Popo. He's a hilarious character, but maybe you're right. If I go, I could go back in time, I would have written right three of him into the story to avoid all this drama. Mr. Popo is not going anywhere. Uh, and the last part over here. Like I said, you guys can find this um, story news article on your own. I'm not going to link it down below because I don't want YouTube to algorithm to kick my ass. But let's move on. On March 1st, the person who made the screenshot and posted a YouTube video to his Twitter account saying that it was fake, quote, I managed to make the most viral anime-related article that has been seen on Twitter and the rest of the internet in a hot minute, he says in the video. This fake and R-word, it's a bigoted article, I made a Photoshop, has been seen at least 10 or 20 million people. Dang. Dragon Ball is one of the most popular anime series created in history. A 2015 Insider article created, yeah, for the series. <clears throat> yeah. Called the series a watershed moment for the rising popularity of Japanese animation. Yeah, thoughts, views, opinions, speculations. Thank God this thing ended up being fake. I'm so fucking happy this person got shitted on in the internet. Fuck the asshole who did this. That's absolutely disgusting. Degenerative. This should not be allowed anywhere near. Like, absolutely making this dude's freaking work like it was nothing. No, this dude, he contributed the hell out of freaking society, man. <laughs> One of the most best music for anime. Even though this is the 90s, early 2000s version, this shit was still really, really fucking good. I loved it, man. It was a passion. If any of you guys didn't grow up with the PS1, PS2, PS3 stuff, or Nintendo N64, GameCube, the, the Wii stuff, or Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball Z, or no, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT, even the one that was the one that was most censored a lot, the Kamehameha one, I think it was Dragon Ball Kamehameha or Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, even that shit was funny. They did a way better job in English dub, except. Sean Chemin was in there. I know a couple of years ago he got known a bunch of because he got like accused of hopefully God forbid if he didn't get accused of dating minors and underage girls. That would really would suck if he did that shit, man. That would be a really, really huge fucking thing if he did that. But this man, he left a legacy imprint on the world that would never, ever be fucking forgotten. I mean, I'm going to always carry the man's memories for the rest of my life, even after I pass away on this earth. Hope to God I still have those beautiful, attain those memories. Nostalgia, the awesomeness. I remember having the Vegeta and Goku, even though they were bootleg, I had bootleg versions of Goku and Vegeta's like statue figurines that I got from like Tijuana, Mexico. When I went to go visit my mom's side of the family, because none of them lived in the United States except for like my mom. Maybe they live in Oklahoma though. I think they were in Cali, I don't know. But anyways, let's get on to the second article. That's so fucked up that they did that to him. Uh, hopefully he's in a better place. But I'll see you in a second. So I'm not going to read this whole entire article, I'll read half of it. But this one was pretty interesting to me. I'll leave the link down below. I don't know a hardcore Disney fan. I haven't been a Disney fan since 2010-11 after I found out the type of true evil shit that they have down below. Especially with the FBI and the CIA and MKUltra and all that other shit. And the New World Order, Freemason crap. I got bored out of Disney a long ass time ago. Even if I had children, I still wouldn't let them watch it. I don't care. It makes me like a tinfoil theorist, but I don't give a shit. They have a lot of deep, dark, sinister shit in their path. So this is not looking good for Disney's live-action Bambi movie after key creator leaves the project. This comes from uh, Maria Lee Hoffman. It's announced that, yeah, it's announced that they've forgotten. I didn't want this. There we go. Uh, forgotten. Da, da, da. For a while, briefly resurfaced, and now it's on the brink of being canceled. The Bambi live-action remake seems to be in big trouble. Hopefully they don't, because if they do, I feel bad for them. It's a fake CGI AI version. Looks funny. <laughs> In the ultimate Disney classic is shaped to be multiple generations and traumatized countless amounts of kids with a very specific scene. You know what I mean? Bambi's first appearance as an animated film in 1942 will soon expect to be getting a rival as a live action movie. Yes, our excitement is limited. Now, however, it's questionable whether the movie will come to fruition at all. Yeah, motion pictures, da da da. 
President leaves Disney and Bambi's loses its director. In recent years, Disney has repeatedly attempted live action adaptations of their most famous <sighs> yeah, classics. It seems that the work was quote, yeah, the work quite well. It feels like Maleficent and Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, because there was no freaking politics shit on there. Thank God. Ultimately, it didn't. Especially the movie that then stripped its beloved animated animal character and their charm out of the opting out the hyper realistic portrayal did not sit well. I'm looking at you, similar number. <laughs> Thoughts, views, and opinions on that. It's unfortunate the way that shit happened. It just is what it was. Yeah, it's unfortunate how that happened because I don't know. I think the Dumbo movie went better and the Maleficent one, of course, for me personally, it's because it had Angelina Jolie in it. Because that bitch is, for me personally, it's fine as hottest piece of ass in the world, in my opinion. Her and Samuel Hike, freaking goddesses. Who know they're way older than me because they're almost old enough to be my mom's age. Holy shit. Both of them, ugh. I used to sip the hell out of them when I was like a 2000s teenager, early 2010s in my 20s years. Mmm. They still got it, too. They're still really pretty as fuck, in my opinion. I sent the hell out of those two freaking hot-ass tricks, even though I don't really get into too much of the whole Hollywood stuff. I do once in a while, but not that much. Extremely rare for talking about that type of news. I don't think they made me once I'm going to wear it all, because the CGI is pretty and complete horseshit, number one. Number two, the voice actor might sound very, very cringe and very embarrassing. And number three, if the main CEO, director, writer, producer completely canceled the whole project and he canned it out to the side, that's probably never going to happen. But if it does, I'm probably going to go to the old school classic, I don't know, 2D animation sparks. That'd be fun. I'd like to see that. And that's it. And that's all I got to say for now. And that's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women. As always, fanboys and fanboys. Talk to you, good morning. I'll see you next to you. Have a good day, every night, wherever in the world, the universe out there. Say to much you your channel, good evening, video game console news, anime manga news once in a while I do, video game industry news. As always, um, so that'll be gossip news, Hollywood industry news, and of course, you know, must news, reaction review segments, and strict, stern commentary reaction videos as well. Take it easy, press on the subscribe crowd. Let's take my seat with some side, take it easy, I'm gonna mount. Section 6, your cautious, I'm gonna later.